woman stopped me in B&Q and said, aren't you Sally Musgrove? I said, no, I'm Sally Ropeby now, married with two lovely children. I lied about the last bit. <laughs> Did you tell her you'd fallen on hard times? Pete. Hey, she said I hadn't changed since our school photograph. You didn't go to B&Q in your gym slip again. <laughs> I hope you showed her pictures of your new ghost. Oh, this is her when she means then 20 years. Isn't she a lovely grey colour? Tell me. <laughs> God, is Mother Teresa back? Again, with the wicked mouth. It wasn't my lifetime's ambition to be dead, you know. Eat, David, eat. When's dinner hour in limbo? He makes it sound like Buckling. Well, he's drinking already. Oh, needed that. After pounding the Axminster of Ad Agency reception. So what did you tell your old friends? I said that your new business was starting to take off and that jobs were coming in, which they are, Pete. Three top ad men said they might have work for you. Hmm, anything could happen. Someone could bomb the jacuzzi. <laughs> Pessimist. Ooh, if we were going through the ten plagues, you'd say, Oh, look, Ramesses, isn't this tap water a lovely red colour? No, don't talk to me about plagues. Nobody was. Don't slouch, David. Sally, your son's plate's empty. I know, he's finished. Finished? In my day, we call that an appetizer. You want to stunt his growth? <laughs> Give him some more before he fades away. And what about theatre? Oh, it's worse than I thought. His stomach's shrunk. <laughs> can't you hear that? No, I can't hear that. And I can't see that, but it's beginning to get right up my nose. I have to take this in my own house. It's not your flaming. Hey, no, it's not the house. Did you notice the shelves I put up in the living room? Of course I did. Nice unit. <laughs> What a unit. They notice nothing. And I'm dying to show you the bedroom. Ooh, wee. Uh, less of that. <laughs> but the extension isn't done. To the bone she's been working. I've been with her all day. Lucky her. Can I phone Chrissy? You've only just seen her at school. Well, that's what I wanted to phone her about. Darren Hughes has asked me to go to McDonald's with him tomorrow lunchtime. He has chucked Denise Lorimer. Yes! <laughs> uh, um... Did she tell you about this? 28th time's the best. Don't you snug? What is snug? So, he's picking you up here? Oh, this B-Day, I don't want him to know my parents are damned. Tammy, come back. Damned chutzpah, if you ask me. We didn't, actually. Oh, I won't. I forgot to bed school hamster. <laughs> David. Peter. He's my leave the table. Don't run, you can trick. Wash your hands from the animal. Make sure he eats plenty. <laughs> Friday night and here they are gone. If we'd only lit candles. Oh, is it black mass again? <laughs> and we're right out of chicken's blood. A joker. <laughs> it's Friday night or Shabbos as we say. Well, dream on as we say. Pete, the candles are important to her. Can you hear yourself? Candles on a Shabbos. It's what keeps a family together. Didn't keep your daughter running off with a pop singer. Peter, what's he trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> Find me my carol with an E. And I'll be gone before you can say Jack Rubenstein. He didn't mean it. He's had a hard week. Hard week? He hardly did anything. That's what made it hard, you stupid old crone. <laughs> Pete, it doesn't help. Sally, it's the drink. Thank God my Sam preferred eating. Who talks about the demon strudel? Sally, we need a word. In private. Fair. <laughs> Why can't we talk in the bedroom? She promised not to come in there. She probably sells tickets to her dead friends. <laughs> Sally, I can't cope with Golda Mayer hovering. Now, be fair. She keeps her distance while you're working. What about the other 23 hours? Pete, she's an old woman. We're her life. Sally, she's had her life. <laughs> Why are you sticking up for her? I'm not. I'm not Pete. Are you getting attached to her? Of course not. Oh, Pete, you've been getting commissions. OK, they're small, but that's how businesses start. Just remember, you can't be a success overnight. Why not? Overnight successes are. <laughs> it's cold out there, Sally. Bloody chilly in here. Beat your hot. There are folk far worse off than us. Mm, who cares about redundant admin? Nobody talks about advertising communities being destroyed. Hey, oh, there's trouble at Wine Bar. <laughs> well, I've had an idea for a business. 
decorating for women who'd rather have a woman around the house. I'd call it a woman around the house. <laughs> Snappy. I could apply for an enterprise allowance. Sally, I'm not having you. We've got cash, there's money from the house, and my redundancy money. You've never objected to my working before. Well, that was when you... When I didn't have to. So it was okay to be a good, responsible social worker earning three jam jar lids a fortnight so long as you brought home the bacon. Sally, don't mention that word. <laughs> you gave up your job last summer because you were exhausted. I didn't know you were going to lose yours. I can manage. Let's just get shot of Whistler's mother. <laughs> I'll find more clients. There must be some out there. <laughs> If lightning strikes this shed, you'll go up like Joan of Arc. Mr. Bloom! The voice of Bloom. I saw a light. I was in my garden wishing my departed friends good Shabbos. I just planted Mr. Pinkers yesterday. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He was a good man and an inspired chiropodist. <laughs> Mr. Bloom, you must know some of Carol Feldman's old friends. Is there anyone I can talk to? Oh, it's been so long. Oh, I did. she knew Greta Hirsch. She runs Greta's on the parade, but... Terrific! Uh, how's work, Mr. Rigby? He's made a good start. It's only a matter of time. Oh. Well, now the Iraqis have the bomb, how much time have we all got anyway? <laughs> oh, I feel much better now. <laughs> good night, Mr. Bloom. I've got to make some phone calls. Uh, good Shabbos, Mr. Bloom. Good Shabbos. We'd best go in. Mrs. Feldman gets lonely. We all get lonely. I hope you like acid rain, Mr. Pincus. And his father was lying back, quite white, Oy. his head on his breast, Oy. one of his hands resting on an open book with a pencil clutched in it. Oi, the man's a goner. Believe me, I speak from experience, Sally. So go on, read, read, read. She looked... Oh, Pete must still be touting for business. You want to talk about it, Sally? No, thanks, Mrs. Feldman. I'm all talked out. She looked round wildly and said, Oh, John, he's dead! He's dead! What? Who's dead? <laughs> Who's John? I'm reading the Foresight Saga. Out loud? I thought we cured you of that. <laughs> and we went to see that film with the subtitles and the man behind you. She's reading to me. My eyes aren't so good since I died. Oh! <laughs> He's still here, Mrs. Feldman. And by the window. I'll help you out. <laughs> Sally, I've done phoning. Come to bed. Got a busy day tomorrow. I think it's bedtime, Mrs. Feldman. Pete's tired. <laughs> He's tired. Let him try haunting or decorating. So what happens to the foresight? They live happily ever after. It's called fiction. <laughs> you want to hear something? <laughs> <laughs> I was playing your tune. <laughs> You're the much for Lima, and I'm going to see materialize you. That good bang. Oi, you got me. I've got no material left. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this on a Shabbos. What sh Shabbos? It's a holy day. It started last night. It's meant to be a day of rest. Where have your parents gone so early? Shopping. Zap! Spuddle! Oi, to be spluddled too. <laughs> See. So, David, it's nice having your daddy home so much, isn't it? Hmm. He gets cross sometimes. Well, it isn't easy for him these days. Or your mummy. He doesn't mean to be cross. You know that, don't you? Your hamster's looking undernourished. Are you feeding him properly? Where is Mum? Shops! She told you! I can't find her black top. I am meeting Darren in less than three and a half hours. <laughs> it's not important. It's only my life they're running. Don't be a teenager when you get older, David. Oh, I should live so long. <laughs> Here we are, Greta's. Now we're getting somewhere. Steady, Pete. Don't build your hopes up. Oh, careful, love. Once she's in a rock violer, she'll be sport for anything else. <laughs> Life's a bitch, eh, Hemingway?
Uh, red tickets are size 12, blue tickets 14. Dresses there, jackets, blouses on the rail. You're a perfect 12. I think I'm a 14. Oh, but you make it look like a 12, that's the secret. You're feeling like a fish out of water. I tell all my husbands, go to the DIY shop, buy a screwdriver. You must be Greta. After Greta Garbo, my poor mother, she wanted a blonde. Still, there's time. Is it a special occasion? Actually, Wedding, the mitzvah? No, not the mitzvah. But as I tell my Spencer, isn't every occasion special? Oh, Petula, could you attend to this lady? Size 16. We're looking for a Carol Feldman. Oh, we just sold the last one, but with... Carol, with an E? Uh, are you a friend of hers? We know her mum. Knew her mum. Oh, yes, her mother. Oh, but she's been gone for years. You wouldn't happen to know where Carol is? Oh, well, I haven't seen Carol since she was a size 10. I think she ran off with a, a Rick, a Zach or someone, a singer. Oh, well, never mind. Thank you for your help. Greta? Oh, one tiny second. Don't go away. Stroll around. How? Sammy, she could clean this to somebody else. You do want to get rid of Mrs. F, don't you? Who wants a ghost? Right, okay. Then. Ah! <laughs> um, you know what to ask. I'm going on in case the phone rings. Don't you worry. I'll get a lead. It's like a detective story, isn't it? Yeah, except the villain's already dead. <laughs> excuse, me, excuse me, size 14 coming through. <laughs> now, don't get upset if he comes home with a new black and decker. <laughs> I don't know how you could do it, Sal. <laughs> Pete, it was a snip. Greta was practically giving it away. I already bought you a screwdriver. <laughs> and I appreciate it. It's a good one. Pete, I couldn't give her the third degree and not buy anything. You're right. So, what did you learn? Nothing. <laughs> good heavens, Holmes, another triumph. <laughs> Don't I look nice in it? Yeah, yeah, you look fine, yeah. How nice do I look, big boy? <laughs> Very nice. Sally, the kids, I've got some serious begging letters to write and the great Mancunian novel. Pete, it's Saturday. Well then, take Mrs. Feldman's advice and give it a rest, eh? <laughs> Mum, does this look okay? <laughs> you look terrific, Tommy. You are not going out like that! You don't think I look better than my bat 501? Yes. If you'd rather wear your 501s. Oh, you hate this, don't you? You think I look awful? Yes. I don't think anything of the sort. Well, I do. You can't sit in McDonald's like that. They'll be drooling all down the cheeseburgers. I'm seeing him in less than two hours. Oh, my legs are gross, aren't they? Then cover them up. <laughs> Sally, she is not meeting one like that. Darren. Darren. Him neither. Well, now it's raining. Thank you, God. I'll drive you down the road. Oh, please. Hey, do you like my new dress? Yeah, it's okay. Mum, are you sure this is all right? Does anyone listen to a word I say? No, I might as well not exist. I might as well be Mrs. Feldman. You called me? <laughs> Your daughter looks like a tramp. Mrs. Feldman? See, even she agrees with me. Tammy, put something decent on. Pete, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, if our ghost doesn't like it, hey, I've got that terrific shroud I found in Miss Selfridge. <laughs> God, I've only got an hour and 50 minutes now. Teenagers. Where have you been? You go out without a word. Sorry. Look, in the sale. Sally, you were born to wear that dress. Some of us can get away with bright colours. <laughs> Tell her the rest, Sal. Well, they had it in red as well. Um. Oh, um, we've been to see Greta Hirsch to ask about Greta. her. Greta Hirsch? You want to get rid of me? Of course we do. Oh, <laughs> you said we should try and find Carol so you can rest in peace. I know, but... Well, excuse me. I was just being dematerialized by your son. <laughs>